congregation had those aggressive elder wives. The one be whipping that nigga ass behind closed doors. Ah! We all know about those stories. Them heifers was brutal. <laughs> it was hard to find a cool couple. They didn't, even, they didn't even need to have a position. As long as they were a cool couple. Cool couples were kind of hard to come by. I knew a cool Bethelite couple. Wow. They even stayed with us. They were great. She was gorgeous and pretty. He was handsome well spoken they were both smart and just so nice and they were young and they were black they were young black circuit like he was like one of the youngest circuit overseers we had or was he a, or did he do district you know what i'm just realizing they sent that nigga to us on purpose just to try to entice us to stay in the truth and to maybe one day pick up full-time service because they were a model couple i wish i knew your name so i could put you on blast God, I can't remember your goofy little name. But y'all was cool. You did have a goofy name. I'm not making fun of you. You had a goofy name. Jehovah's Witness standards are so low when it comes to, like, actually having a decent relationship that all the people, like, if there was a couple who genuinely just liked each other, like, they just genuinely liked each other, that would automatically make them a cool couple and everybody would want to hang out with them. That's how bad marriages are in Jehovah's Witness congregation. And they be hating each other. Them wives be hating their husbands leaving like that to go to tend to other people for free. And oh, sister so-and-so, she having a problem with sister so-and-so's son who keep running away. What the fuck that man got to do with that? He got to get up, leave his family because you can't control your own. And he don't even want to do it. He just feel like he has to do it. He's an elder. You got to listen to people who jack up problems. You got to be around these horny single sisters asking you to come over, help fix the car. <laughs> Ooh, it ain't the only place he gonna put his tools. He gonna look under that hood. <laughs> he gonna give it that maintenance. He gonna stay on the maintenance schedule. He got go. Oh, oh, lonely single sister so and so. Oh, you said your water heater is leaking. Is it leaking a lot, sis? Is it leaking? Like, is it dripping on the floor, sis? <laughs> Don't worry, Elder Saver Hole is gonna come and save the day yet again. And the women, because they're neglected chronically, and they're angry, but they can't be angry. They can't really complain. You feel guilty because, hey, aren't we doing this for Jehovah? So she holds that stuff all in, and they get aggressive. That's what I heard. You know, I only was a pioneer for a few years. I only served temporarily at Bethel. I only been around a few people in some few high little places. I be hearing stuff. I be hearing stuff. I used to keep my ears open. And I listened. Now, I didn't tell nobody's beans, but I sure listened to them. What am I supposed to do? We got to work to that. We got to work together all day in field service today. I can't create no bad energy. Shoot, if you want to talk about crazy couple so and so marriage, you know what? <laughs> what you want me to do? I tried to change the subject twice. I put on some kingdom melodies. Did nothing help. She still wanted to talk smack. I'm going a little, I'm, I'm, I'm having a little flashback. Just, just hang on, hang with me. I put on the kingdom melodies. I tried to change the subject. I tried to do all of that. We have a whole five-hour morning schedule. I got to deal with this sister. You know what I'm saying? She an elder wife. You know? So a part of me is like, yo, I'm trying to do the right thing. But this is an elder's wife talking about other elder wives. Or about their other marriages and whatever. They all talk about each other. Honey, they all talk about each other. They don't care if you a pioneer, elder's wife. None of that matters. That's how it goes. Them elder wives get mad and bitter because they really, they want they man, but they can't have a man because they got to share they man with the whole goddamn congregation. Then they get aggressive and them husbands be feeling bad too because I'm willing to bet there were more elders than not who would have rather been home than going on these house calls and house visits and shepherding calls and middle of the night stuff and congregation stuff and always gotta stay behind at the meeting. Always gotta be first out in field service. Always gotta be understanding. Always gotta have your hand out. Always gotta be the first one to greet somebody. Always gotta be the one to set the example. I mean, just the sheer pressure of being a Jehovah Witness almost guarantees you will have a sucky marriage. Jeez Louise. That, and that, and that, that woman, your, your elder wife, got to deal with all of that all the time. She has no say. She cannot, she cannot, in the respect of her own home, go to her husband, her husband, 
and say, I want you to spend more time at home. I want you to spend more time with me. I miss you. Like, let's say things work out the way they should. Well, this is how I feel in my mind things should work out. If, if you get married, because that's a whole topic in itself. If you get married and see the need to do that, you should not. I don't want to marry someone who isn't my friend. Like, we have to be friends. Not friends by default, but like, no, we're friends anyway. Like, we we can deal with each other regardless. Whether there's structure or sex or whatever. We're just friends. We're great friends. So, it's only natural, in my mind, for people to want to spend time with their mate because at minimum y'all are friends and you miss your friend you're used to your friend being there <laughs> you're used to your friend being available you just get used to your friend and you got to share him with every motherfucking body else in the congregation for nothing no pay no money and what is the benefit all the benefits that you get for being a submissive wife are imaginary they're imaginary benefits. You can get the same benefits being more vocal. Sometimes you get more because it's a respect factor at play. You're not stupid. But see, being a Jehovah Witness, it makes you feel stupid. Like you just you just have these feelings. You just crazy. You just have these feelings and you just crazy. For missing your husband. And he literally lives there. I'm I have heard elders' wives tell me this. How y'all think I know this? I'm not married. I ain't never been married. But you know that, but you know, but you know that little sometimes cute single sister that always be around the the Mar the, the married sisters, always gotta work with them. That was me, baby. And we was always friends. I was friends with the girls in my congregation. The mature ones, not the little silly ones talking about the ones that was trying to make the life for themselves we always we i was always cool with that demographic i didn't have a lot of trouble at that demographic the young married sisters i guess i got a type <laughs> ah, i just play i'm just playing so yeah that's what they would tell me Oh, and you can hear, I've seen a few of them cry. You can hear the frustration. And what kind of pressure does that put on the husband? Do you see? That's a lot. Any halfway decent man wouldn't want his wife to be feeling that type of anguish all the time. Like, is there something we can do? Yeah, leave this crazy ass religion or at least drop these goofy ass privileges and stay and, and be with me. <laughs> be with me. Let's hang out <laughs> again. Go get something to eat. Oh, 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 oh! Shit, sky's the limit. You gonna stay home this I mean, come. It's like, and then they wanna go in the kingdom hall and pretend like everything hunky dory. Everything is not goddamn hunky dory. It's just horny and dreary. Oh, and then that's another thing. Oh, oh that's another thing. Let's talk about sex life, bruh. Oh shit. The man and the wife is frustrated sexually. Even if, even when you're married. What sense does that make? I'm talking about young people too. Now, you know, the older couples had, you know. But you know, wow, I'm really going off on a tangent. There was a couple of overseers in my old hall. I'm not going to say the name of the hall. Well, yes, the fuck I will. I believe I was going to West Jonesboro Congregation. Shout out West Jonesboro Congregation that Jehovah's Witnesses. Or was it East River? No, I went to East Riverdale. I went to North Riverdale. Anyway, there were these couples who would take these cruises like every year. And it would be the same couples. It was rumored. They was doing a little swapping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, they was doing an interchange of faith. and seeing that Jehovah is good. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! I remember those stories. Oh, they used. Oh, I used to just 
Well, they would disgust me. You know, I'm trying to be a Jehovah Witness. But after the shock wore off, I'd be laughing my ass off. <laughs> I'm like, oh, 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 oh. We ain't supposed to be fornicating. Ain't you the one that went, uh, that, uh, um, did my baptism questions with me? Ain't you the nigga that did my baptism questions with me? You told me about deadening my body members. And look at you. Not only are your uh, 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 body members alive and well, you are sharing multiple body members with multiple partners. You nasty dog, you. <laughs> you, you gonna try to reprimand me because maybe somebody masturbated. Then you better, I ain't telling y'all nothing, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you freaks. And your wife beat you up. You ain't beat you up, don't, don't she? Either. Now I'm talking to the elders. I'm having flashbacks. There's some things I wanted to say. How, how you like that ass whipping last night that you won't tell nobody about, huh, boy? Huh? You little prying little elders. I couldn't stand y'all then, and I can't stand y'all now because you pried too much, and your shit was all over the place. Your marriage was horrible. Your kids was bad. Your credit was bad. Everything was bad. And then they made sorry-ass husbands. And that pissed the women off even more because sometimes those sisters realize they fell in love with a with a suit. They fell in love with a body. They fell in love with um you know, they fell in love with an idea. Cuz once they get with that nigga, they realize they do not like that boy. They don't like him at all. They wasn't really friends. You can't really have a courtship and be friends when you're Jehovah Witness. Every angle of this religion sets sets up couples to have horrible marriages that dating you to pr properly dating is i think that is so crucial i really do you gotta see if you like them <laughs> you don't get to do that when you draw witness there's always people around you can't really get real with nobody because you you always you have chaperones all the time everywhere even your phone conversations you be feeling guilty about it's some things you got to talk about as a couple you know as friends like and it takes time people will look down on you when you was dating like you like your dates were time restricted just stupid stuff like oh it's getting late you gotta go out and service in the morning nigga we only been out for two hours the movie was an hour and a half i can't get to know you like that it's inappropriate it's excessive you have to make sure of the more important things you can't neglect your spiritual routine everybody's in your business the guy you dating he might be like an ultra super spiritual brother and you wanna you wanna be funny and have fun with them and see how their humor is because the type of humor you are matters to your spouse. You cannot have two different types of humor. For my most successful relationships, I could genuinely laugh. <laughs> see, that stuff matters. See, they don't they not gonna cover these these tips in the Watchtower magazine. Why? Because they're not as smart as me. Okay? That's why. I should start my own damn religion. <laughs> ah! I'm tripping. Anyway sisters be aggressive and them brothers or the brothers will get real aggressive with their wives y'all know it happened it, and it happens a lot i'm surprised how much it really does happen you can't really tell nobody the elder body if it's him doing it the elder body gonna have his back if it's her doing it if he's scared of her he's not gonna say anything you know he who who what what man with any amount of respect wants the world to know his wife is hitting him hold on hold on hold on hold on my wife, she hit me. <laughs> ah, did it hurt, nigga? Did it hurt? Yeah, man, she's strong. <laughs> oh, man. She hit me every night. <laughs> Damn, dog. She whip your ass every night, man. Hell yeah, man. I can't put my hands on her. I can't put my fucking hands on her. Because, you know, I, I hurt that bitch. But dang, I leave a mark. She gonna call the cops on me. I'ma lose my job. I'ma lose my job at Georgia Power. Look, I oh, I don't know why I married this hoe. Hey, it wasn't just the sisters. It wasn't just the wives I was friends with too. I sure was cool with the homies and a lot of them was married and yo, you know how many relationships I've been in the middle of? I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. My nose yet. <laughs> oh well, I'm, not, I'm an apostate. What do you expect? So yeah, just that's why the marriages be bad. I mean, you're denied so much and 
hard to grow a friendship and it, it, it the, the wife has reasons to be irritated the husband has reasons to be irritated oh i was talking about sex earlier what i got way off track i'm gonna try these longer rants out i'm gonna just edit these two videos together that's what i'm gonna do y'all can't get as freaky as you want to because one of y'all may tell the elders and that's frustrating because when sex is in, is new to your life and you get to do that with your friend, it's some things that you want to try. They put sex in a box. You are really, you are really basically just confined to missionary. And if some other stuff happens, just hope they don't tell on you. You got to hope your own wife don't go tell on you because you wanted a little top polish. <laughs> where that came from I don't know where that came from anyway not even if you're married watch tower drill sex being so bad so fucking bad that you feel guilty there's just this guilt complex this fear this um this shame like this like for real I I have had married couples tell me especially girls girls have it the worst i think with this they feel ashamed when they have sex with their husband it's not really their body because most girls have body insecurities and most of us know most men don't care about the stuff we care about anyway cha -ching! he's just trying to open the cash register <laughs> anyway that's supposed to be the new fun part you discover with your friend you can't even do that watch tower screws over couples all which ways I want to hear from people who have gone through the awakening process. Leave a comment and like, share, and subscribe, please. I've been going on a tangent. But I want to hear about how your relationships um, were affected in Watchtower and how they're different or better and what y'all got to work on. Because my personal hunch is that if a couple is fortunate enough to wake up together, which is, whew, that's phenomenal on its own. If a couple is fortunate enough to wake up together, I would assume they would almost have to start over. Well, y'all already get to talk about Watchtower together and shared experiences. That's great. Oh my God, that's phenomenal. I have been fortunate to have people in my life who are XJWs. We live so much of our lives in Watchtower. It's so nice to be in the company of people who you know really care about you. You know you really care about them. And they get you. They get your unique shade of weirdness because you was a Jehovah Witness. So were they. You woke up, so did they. It's just, it's so much backstory that doesn't really have to be explained. There are so many stories you can tell them and they'll automatically get. You don't have to explain what the Kingdom Hall is. You explain waking up to somebody who ain't never been through it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They'll never get it. You'll never understand. I don't care how much he love you. He will never understand what it's like to be a Jehovah Witness. Every time you can't, who do you talk to? I want to hear from y'all. I really do want to hear from y'all in the comments. Or maybe you have a mate who never was a believer. Or maybe you have a mate still in the truth. Oh my God. Oh my God. Woo, I feel sorry for you. God damn. I would hate to wake up and my partner not wake up. Shit. I bet that's hell for y'all. Y'all talk to me so I can make a video about it. <laughs> but I really am interested. I really do want to know. Like, I really do want to know. How do y'all handle that? I could not imagine. I really can't. Hey, like, share, subscribe, make a comment. Thank you so much. How much time we got left? This is going to be a long-ass video. I don't think most of y'all mind. We'll, we'll keep the longer rants for now. All right. Peace. I can't believe you just got in front of me like that. What the hell is your problem, bruh? See, this is why people be getting an accident. I'm in my mama car. No, I'm not letting nobody else. Oh, what the? Yo, y'all see this sign? <laughs> y'all see this sign to say get over. So y'all trying me because I'm in a Yaris. I don't appreciate the disrespect at all. Y'all just trying me because I'm in a little bitty old Yaris. I'm a 